Twiggle's Hair Salon. The following transactions are to be entered in the credit side of the cash book. On the 7th of February 23, Twiggles, who is VAT registered, buys five boxes of shampoo from Cash and Carry Outlet for £72, including VAT, paying check 100782. So let's write in the payment for the 7th of February 2023, paid to Cash and Carry, check number. 100782 paid out of the bank 72 pounds and that records the payment in the credit side of the cash book now we need to analyze that payment because the payment is the first time this transaction has hit our books of prime entry in this case the cash book we must account for the VAT so let's calculate the VAT and the net value the gross divided by 1.2 is equal to the net. So if we take the gross of £72 and divide it by 1.2, we are given the net of £60. And the VAT is 20% of the net. 20% of £60 is £12. Total those and that will give you once again the gross value. So we can analyse the £72 as £12 VAT and £60 net purchases. On the 10th of February, Twiggles pays by cheque number 100783 to a credit supplier, Brushes and Rollers, for £112. So the total paid is £112. This was to a credit supplier, Brushes and Rollers, 100783 check number and this was on the 10th of February 2023. So now we've got the payment, total payment in the cash book correctly but now we need to look at our analysis. Because we are simply settling that money that we owe brushes and rollers, VAT will already have been accounted for in the purchases day book and therefore we simply take across the total payment into the payables, payables ledger, settling that liability effectively when we post for the general ledger. On the 12th of February 23, Twiggles pays for the business van repairs at the local garage, £87 cash that includes VAT. So go to our cash column, £87 into the cash column because we paid the local garage cash of £87 on the 12th of February 2023. Now we need to analyse the expense. Now remember this is the first time this transaction has hit the books, hit the books of prime entry. So divide by 1.2 to give us our net value of £72.50. Remember these are motor expenses. And then we can multiply that by 0.2 to give us our VAT element of £14.50. Total those up and they will come to £87 as a cheque. On the 13th of February 23, Twiggles pays a credit supplier colourwise. £105.55 taken advantage of an early settlement discount of £4.44. So again, all we need to do is to think, OK, what's the total payment? £105.55 was paid. It was from the bank. So that would be the next um, 
check number. So this was to colour wise and check number would be 100784 sequentially numbered and that was on the 13th of February 2023. Again we need to analyse this. Now remember, this is a credit supplier, so the VAT would have been accounted for within the purchases day book. So all we simply need to do is transfer that value across to the payables ledger. That completes the entries into the cash book credit side. But don't forget, we must account for that early settlement discount of £4.44. A discount received, therefore, on the 13th of February 2023. The details, this is because we paid colour-wise early. Don't know the invoice number, but the total there would be £4.44. That is the settlement discount. Now, remember, this is the first time this settlement discount has been accounted for in the books of accounts. So, therefore, we need to account for the VAT element. It's pretty similar to raising or receiving a credit note. So, if we take 4.44 divided by 1.2, our total net value is £3.70 and times that by 0.2 to give us our VAT element of £0.74. And our £3.70 plus the 74p adds up to £4.44. And that completes the entries. And I hope that's helped to um, explain the, in particular this time, the credit side of the cash book and discounts received for early settlements.